everybody and welcome to Munich. Today we are in the uh, wonderful Swiss Federal Railways livery. So for the do, let's get our doors open. We open the doors. Yes, there it is. And we'll turn our uh, window opaque thingamy do on. Put the brakes on. What's the uh, what's the speed limit here? I think that's forty. So we'll go forty. AFB on, um, headlights to normal high beams, open here, where's our LZB, there it is, haven't done one of the, haven't done a German route for so long, they're so fun, get the frame rates up just so we, wow, running 50 FPS, that's incredible, although the amount of CPU that uses, o OBS can't get much more, <laughs> isn't this just such a beautiful station though? And I, I love this route because you know Munich is absolutely fantastic. You've got you know, ICEs everywhere, and then we just set our doors to shut. And we've also got um, the S-Bahn services going like, literally one after the other. It's incredible frequencies here. And there's another. That must be a loco stop there. Anyway. Uh, let's not wait, let's get moving. Um, so yes, we're going, uh, driving this uh, Swiss Federal Railways, oh god, Swiss Federal Railways all the way to Augsburg, stopping at passing, yes. So look at this. In the snow, obviously. Love the noise of the Velaros, love it. Love it. I will go full power. SBB. CFS. FS. Because of course Swiss, Swiss, Switzerland. Switzerland has three different languages. Nothing can be once. Three different acronyms. I do kind of like it though, but yeah, we'll stick to Swiss Federal Railways, I think. I think that's simpler. Anyway. Look at this. So many tracks here. Jesus Christ. Who in their right mind thought it would be a good idea to build this many tracks? Uh, I'm not even... It's not even had to, having to render any graphics and it's still running at... Le getting into single digit FPS. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, back into 20s. Alright. I'll leave the frame counter up. But then, you know, once we get past passing it should all chill out. Should get a lot smoother from there on. Anyway, hopefully we can get a little bit faster. Faster, you know, speed. This is a high-speed route. That is pretty cool. It's got like the first little section that's not, and then the rest of it, which is. I do like this route. I should do more German routes. I will do more German routes. I was at, I was trying to find a livery for this train because. Of course, most of them just use. Let me switch this to go right only, left only. Yeah, so most of them only use. Um, oh, was that was that the one that I said? No, that wasn't ICE. Oh, I thought that was us. I said that was a loco. Um, yeah, and I was trying to dig around on Train Sim Community to try and find a train that used. You know, we'll stop to one thirty. That was used this train because yeah, it wouldn't it make sense just to use the other one that everyone can have so you get more publicity. But I found one that uses this one. Just get a little bit of sanding on the scene. No. Lower the power down. Yes. All right. Makes power a touch. Can we go any higher? No. All right. We'll keep it to. Is that too high still. Put it down. Eighty six. All right. We'll stick at eighty six. That's more or less full power, more or less. Oh, no. Need less? Yes, you do. You got the, yeah, you got the um, S-Bahn services over there. It's such a nice route to play on. It just, it just, it feels alive. There's so much stuff going on. It, it does just feel like it's alive.
Oh, there goes a loco. Look at that, isn't that cool? Alright. Because I know the um, the suburban lines have um, LZB. Yeah, look, there's the LZB wire. So the suburban lines have LZB, but they don't have speed set, so they can't drive themselves. It's just to, like, give you a target speed. I don't know. Kinda, I guess it's kind of like the central line before that used ATC. Kind of. I don't know. Because it gives the drivers a target speed while still using signal blocks. When's this train's doors going to close? Because I kind of want it to leave very soon. I kind of want to troll it, but I think we should get back to ours. And then there's so many yards around here as well. Like, it's crazy how much stuff's going on. It's also crazy how they can manage to get everything modelled. We'll go to full power. Let me come through this section, which is the interesting bit. It's so many over under bits. It, it's weird. And I guess it, it is, this is where the suburban lines cross over. And we go on a very steep uphill. And so the suburban lines are on this side and then they go over. And then we do some more crossover stuff. It's so so interesting what happens over here. And then these these go down to um Garmish, whatever it's called. Right, we'll start to brake for the 60. Probably go a little bit harder on the brake. Yeah, probably quite a lot harder. Probably like a lot. Go sounding all. We need a lot more brakes than that train. Train! Train! Stop! 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 God, this thing's brakes are terrible in the snow. And like, not even sanding does anything. Right, there goes the really annoying... Right, it's kind of cool actually, that noise. I decided I like it. So we're all in the platform now, so we can pretty much stop wherever. I think we're gonna stop pretty fine here. Nice. And we're early as well, because of course this is a timetabled service and we're on time. Which is important. Almost bang on time. Right, as soon as... Opens, unlock the doors. We'll leave ourselves on break three so we don't slide around out here. I know it's normally protocol to put yourself on like full break or whatever, but who cares? I know I don't. I'm going to Dysonhofen. Ebersberg. Nowhere. Nowhere. Where's platform one and two? Oh, that's over here. But there's no platform one. I presume there used to be. Oh, look, there's a train. That'll help the frame rate. Where's this one going to? This is the uh, uh, Gelton. Geltendorf. I just love this. It kind of feels like London. Or in a different way, it feels like central at Sydney. There's always something going on. We should probably start to think about setting our doors to loked. Where is this? So where are we going? We're going to Dortmund. Let's get the doors to locked. Release our brakes slightly, and let's get moving. Listen to that noise. Right, more power. Lots more power. A little bit more power. Yes, a little bit more power. Can you go a little bit more power? Go a little bit more power. Yes. And we got the suburban train going out as well. That's so cool. I love this route. This is this is why I love this route. Just get so much variation. Hopefully we'll see some freight trains and such alongside. 
Speaking of which, here comes a freight train. It's just so much stuff going on, it's just so exciting. And goes our suburban train. Is it following us? Come on, no it's not. It's not following us, it's betraying us. Traitor. Right, up to 1.30. Oh, I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't be overpowering the end of engines, electric motors, whatever. Oh, to 140. Nice. I'm getting into the speed. Here comes our freight train. Look at that car carrier up here. Yes. Nice. Nice. Up to 160. Go full power. Bug and buff, I don't care. Yes, there we are. I want full power. Full power. Fat. Just, you know, this is top speed of any trains in my country. So. <laughs> this is. I don't think I've ever been in a train in this country that went faster than 120. Because <laughs> they never do. In the maximum, the highest speed anything in this country has ever got was 200. Very briefly, by a narrow gauge tilting train. <sighs> it's also the fastest narrow gauge train in the world, so I guess you can give the uh, electric tilt train that, but I don't know. Still a little bit embarrassing, not gonna lie. Right. Got 45 kilometers to go. That's like 300,000 times longer than the Bakerloo line. Oh, you're stopping here, you are. Um, and yet, there are some commuter lines in Sydney that are like, if the city was there, they'd be about this long. So, you know, whatever. And they take about 300 times the length to cross. We won't talk about that. We won't criticise. Give constructive feedback, not criticism, because criticism is bad. Criticism is very bad, obviously negative criticism, because, you know, nothing's ever constructive. Oh god, oh, I forgot that was the um, AFB. I thought I was going to have a heart, as something went wrong. Yeah, it's driving itself now. <laughs> Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the drive. <sighs> Isn't this a nice train? The answer is yes, it's a beautiful train. Fantastic train. I wouldn't like to get some screenshots, but I mean, there's hardly anywhere bright enough where I can get any. I just have to try my luck. But I'll try and get one where it's. No. Yeah, uh, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. That's good enough. Good enough it is. Also, one thing I might look at doing, uh, which will be very interesting, it will be very fun to do, is uh, have another go at um, Rapid Transit, because Rapid Transit was my favourite route at one point. And it's... I really like it, still, but I haven't played it for so long. It's not funny how long I haven't played it for. Increase your brightness. Does that actually do anything? Oh, that does stuff at the top. Oh. That will go as bright as you can. Gauge. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, put the cab lights on. Um, we should probably also set the, uh, the thing where we're going. Dortmund? Zugbahn? No. Dortmund. 
Dort, 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 Dort. There it is, Dortmund. Right, nice. Should have probably done that before, but whatever. So yes, I would. I'm probably gonna have another have have a go at um, some stuff on a rapid transit, especially with the 182, because I just I love the 182 and I love rapid transit. They're just such such nice routes. I, I know, I know. I just love them a lot. So I'm gonna pr drive them. Not even in a reskin, which is probably very toxic. What I might do is I might get a reskin of the Talent 2, and then put the Talent 2 on there. But it's the Kolnarkan Talent 2 instead of the Leipzig Talent 2, if you, if you get what I'm saying. Probably don't. Probably makes no sense at all. But, oh god, why did I press that button? Driver's seat. Um, but yeah, so I'll do some wacky stuff with something. I don't know. But it'll be good. I can assure you it will be good. Ten kilometers still until the next speed change. They're already cracking through the route. About halfway. It's Sixteen minutes. Should be cool. Should be very cool. And we're at full speed now. Line speed. So we can just cruise along out. And doing this. All right. Perfect opportunity. We're also doing high speed routes to uh to do some some channel highlights. What's my CPU running on? What's my processors doing? Does I have a processors tab open? Just because I know this route is incredibly demanding. Um, so I'm running at 90% CPU pretty consistently. Um, I'm using 75% of my memory, I'm using 11 gigabytes of it. Um, one of my drives is doing nothing at the moment. Um, my C drive, my OS drive, is 10%, and my uh, external drive, which is my E drive, is spiking randomly, it seems, sometimes up to 100%, sometimes just sitting up 5 um, And then I'm using uh, my GTX, because I'm, I'm, I'm over physically overworking my GTX playing this game, uh, my graphics card. Um, my NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060, which is a little bit embarrassing, is working at more or less 100% on this route, and it's at over 95 degrees Celsius. I should probably get a cooling system, or like, bloody hell, that's the hottest I've ever seen it running at. And then I've got my, um, my uh, inbuilt graphics 530. Of integrated graphics, uh, that's running at pretty consistent 30%. So that's just OBS using that. Can we hide summary view and um, do that? Yes. All right. Uh, let's go to some analytics. Channel analytics. Because we all love them, don't we? Answer yes. Everyone answer yes because it makes me feel happy. So um, at the time of recording which is about a week, a week and a half before it'll go, the video will go out. Uh, time recording, got um, 160 subscribers, which is mental. Thank you so much to every single one of you that has subscribed to uh, my channel. It, it really does mean a lot, which is a, a brilliant segue to uh, plug the subscriptions. So yeah, if, if you do want to uh, if you do support the channel, if you do like the videos, make sure to subscribe. It, you know, it's the easiest way of showing your support, and it means the most to me. And it's completely free. You can always change your mind, and it only takes one second. Um, it got in the last last year because that's what's important. Uh, we have got over two thousand two hundred watch hours. And that is the craziest thing. That's like a hundred days, more than a hundred days of watching my videos. And then in the channel's lifetime, this is the incredible thing. I've got sixty-three thousand video views. 
And then if you look at the last 365 days, 62,000 views. And if you look at the last 90 days, 48,000 views. And you look at the last 28 days, 14,000 views. Which uh, we're getting approximately, you know, this is real time, uh, real time in the last 48, 48 hours as of recording, 1,427 views in the last 48 hours. I know people who've only got 800 total channel views, and we're pumping that in two days, double that pretty much, in two days. Now that is something incredible. Uh, in terms of reach, in the last 28 days we've had uh, nearly 200,000 impressions, which now puts on total impressions. What was that? Something doesn't happen? No? Have to do like a breaking thing or something? I don't know. Something about beep. Wasn't paying attention. Uh, which now puts us at uh, 631.3 thousand. There's 630 thousand impressions. That takes a while to sink in. Um, you've got a CTR rate of approximately 6.3. else interesting there? No. Watch time is about two minutes, so you know, if you don't like the video, you're already clicked off by now, probably. <laughs> Lol. And audience-wise, 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 you all like Train Simulator, Mega Sim, Jeff Marshall, Mystic, Xenox, and the British Apes. None of which surprises me. What else do you like? Alan Thompson, Rivet, PTG, TS Gameplay, Awesome Trains and Buses, Laser Beam. Yeah, none of this surprises me. None of it. Um, you're all online when I'm asleep, pretty much. Which is sad, but you know, what can you do? Live in Australia. And yeah, so that's, that's all the analytics increasing amounts. It, it really does make me feel happy when I upload a video and then it, you know, in the first what, hour it receives 100 views and then you come back the next day and it's on 300 views and then you come back the next week and it's like at 700 and then you come back a month later and you've now got 23 videos that are over 1000 views. I just made that number up but I don't think I've got 23 over 1000 but we're certainly getting there which is the crazy thing certainly getting there. Um, anyway, we're very, getting very close to Augsburg now. Uh, Hobstrucker Munchen Augsburg. That, that, that's the only German root name I can say, even vaguely proficiency. It, it, with vague proficiency. Can't even speak English. Hill. Augsburg. And we're starting the braking curve now. We've got the 150 going around that stupid curve there. I don't know why anyone thought that was a good idea.
alright, uh, 150 limit coming up very soon. Very, very, very soon. Good thing LZB exists, because that's good. Do like my LZB. Alright. Coming round the curve. Round the curve. Getting very close to Augsburg now. 5k. That does not look like 5 kilometers. And that looks like 1 or 2, but not 5. Anyway, we can go pretty high speed now again, I think. There's a speed restriction thing we got ready gone. Where is the speed sign? I thought we could go faster here. No? No. Alright. Yeah, I thought we could go a little bit faster along here. It seems like 150 is our maximum. Do I care? No, not really. It's all good. Zook. Um, yes, gotta do... I've forgotten what the keyboard things are for this. Alright, there it is. There's release. Okay, so that's... It knows that I know that LZB is going to turn off. So that's fine. What I am going to do is I'm going to turn the take power off. And then... I'm going to start to brake very heavily for the 90. Like, very heavily. Like, incredibly heavily. Come on, come on train. Ooh. Oh, we did it! Look at that! That's pretty impressive, I think. Right, um, what's going on with the AFB? Off, and then on. Off. Off. On. Then on again. No, I'll go down. We go down to sixty. Why not? Yeah, sixty. Sixty. All right. And doors on the right-hand side. Oh, we don't. We could actually cruise in here at pretty high speeds. Right, we'll turn the AFB off. You've already unlocked the doors on the right side. Right, and the back of the train should be in the platform, yeah, so we can just take it easy, pretty much. So, yes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Fly into a brick wall. Come on, train. Stop, please. So thank you guys for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.